messed up so let's go hi everyone and welcome to the first live stream review video this is something that we will now be doing i invented it a time ago and i just proposed it to the watchers of my live stream in fact of this live stream let me switch to my screen here you can see the people watching live here's the twitch chat and um what I will be doing now is at the end of each live stream, I will capture a part of that live stream, a short 10 minute section where I review what we did in that live stream uh, for people who didn't have the chance to watch the live stream and who don't have the time to watch the complete live stream afterwards. And also to keep everyone informed about the kinds of small progress. The reason why I want to do that is because it's very time intensive to produce these big updates that you had every week now. And um, I might still do these kinds of updates, but more seldomly only for very important stuff. And in the meantime, you will have these review sections of live streams to keep you informed about all the stuff that we do. So let me start for this live stream by actually describing what we did today. This was the first live stream from my new country. And um, as I feared, it only took very little time uh, for people to figure out where I am once I start live streaming because they could collect all kinds of evidence like here in my browser you can see a bookmarks folder that's called RU and they could of course see my time zone by looking at my time and so very very quickly they figured out or even already had the suspicion that I'm in Russia and uh, yes I'm in Russia I'm in St. Petersburg uh, that's where I live now for a year and um, yeah, I really enjoyed here. This was the first live stream from that location. It seems that everyone works well. Internet seems to support streaming. MacBook can almost handle it. Um, it's like bearable to watch, I guess. And after like looking at some reactions, people being excited where I am, I told people what I did during my travels here because um, in Germany before my travels and here after I arrived I actually got the chance to work on some code and what I did was uh, I worked on behavior of cars on intersections. We worked on that in Germany before I left we uh, did some kind of geometry calculation stuff that is needed for that. As it turned out we kind of thought about it in the wrong way and I solved that in a much simpler way and then I added the car behavior so now cars know on an intersection which other lanes are potentially conflicting with them and can react to cars that cross their way. Um, yeah, let me actually show you that in the game itself. Let me start up the game here. As you can see, these update videos are a little more freestyle and ad hoc. Stuff might go wrong. I hope you excused it, but it's much easier for me to do. So. Uh, Let's just create a simple two road intersection here. We spawn cars from here to here and from here to here. And uh, we will be able to see that uh, once both streams of cars reach the intersection, they react to each other. So if this yellow car is now blocking the road, or let's see here, this green car is actually waiting for the intersection to clear. And uh, this is basically the most simple case of intersection behavior. Of course, we can also have more interesting stuff like um, now in, in this previous scenario, we had just a basic merge, but we can have an actual cross by having cars go from uh, whoops, I messed that up. I have to do that again. By having cars... Again, create these two roads. And if we have cars from here to here, and then from here to here, they will cross over. And let's see what that looks like. So as you can see, they are very careful and actually wait for each other. 
And we can also use our inspect cars debug tool to see that yes, he actually sees those as an obstacle and waits for them. Um, so finally, let's look at an even more complicated example where we have two four lane roads crossing with each other and let's try to add all kinds of cars going in different directions. Let's see here. Okay, so we can have cars going from here to here, for example. We can have cars going from here to here. We can have cars going in the opposite direction here. And then cars merging in here. Did that work? Uh, oh yeah, but they will disappear here, but that's fine. I misclicked a little bit. Then car is going here. So don't worry if some of them immediately disappear after the intersection, but they still should react to each other. Now if we zoom in on the, inter uh, on the intersection, we can see all of these different streams of cars interacting, hopefully quite naturally already. I don't know, if you ask me, that looks quite natural. Of course, we don't have traffic lights. These people all drive according to a first come, first serve rule. Some of them even bump into each other still, but the basics are here. And up on top of that, we can implement stuff like traffic lights or roads having uh, precedence to each other. So most of that I actually implemented before today's live stream. What we did in today's live stream is uh, something pretty simple, that was actually quite difficult to add. Um, we just made sure that if there's an intersection, cars slow down for it, because before cars just went over the intersection with their maximum velocity and didn't even have time to react to obstacles from other lanes. But now, as you can see, cars carefully approach an intersection and cross it using a given intersection speed that is careful enough. Um, the code that we added for this can also be used for other stuff in the future, as some viewers suggested. For example, having cars go slower in sharp corners, or just having speed limits on specific lanes in general. Uh, so yeah, that is all what we implemented today. Let me switch to my live chat and see if they have any other suggestions if I missed to... Uh, review anything and um, I guess I will end this review section with just a Q&A section in my live stream and uh, if you are interested in that you can keep watching this video or if not that's all that's my review for today's live stream and um, yeah for the rest we will just have a short Q&A session like five minutes so Dear live viewers, please go ahead and ask me questions now. The people on YouTube will even be able to see those. <laughs> and what do you think about this first review section? I think I kind of nailed it. Some glitches here and there, but that's exactly what I wanted this format to be like. Uh, well, I'm trying to get my desktop here, but uh, Shipping to Russia is not that easy. Like, how do I explain to customs that yes, I'm really shipping this almost 2K dollar PC uh, to myself privately and no, I'm not trying to sell that. I will have to figure all of that out. I will have to make sure that the package has good insurance if it get, gets lost and so on. Um, but um, People are telling very bad stuff about the Russian post and apparently most of that is true. So I will have to see how to do that. Yeah, I'm also recording locally so I hope the audio is fine at least in my recording. Or I hope that I'm recording locally. Let's see. Uh, stop streaming, start recording. If not, I will have to use Twitch's export feature. Maybe I didn't set up OBS correctly yet. This should motivate you, A play. OK. 
can I just click random imagery links, especially if it will be on YouTube? I don't know. YOLO. <laughs> All right, yeah, that does motivate me. <laughs> All right, yeah, any, any more questions, any more feedback on that last review or that first review section that we did? Um, on, on the stream quality and everything in general, just let me know. Can you get pretzels there? Good question. I will have to find a source for that. Maybe next time you should script it a little bit more. Yeah, but that's hard if I don't know what we will be doing during the live stream. Will there be roads that go over other roads? Yes, roads will get a three-dimensional as soon as I get traffic working in two dimensions. When will the next live stream update be? I have no idea, honestly, and I have to figure out a new schedule. Uh, it's good that you asked that. As soon as I have an idea for a new schedule, I will let you know, of course. Um, it's not really going to complicate the Pathfinder because the Pathfinder just thinks in terms of lanes. It doesn't matter. Like if, if lanes cross over each other, you have to explicitly tell him and if it's only a bridge that's just like they're completely disconnected for him. In your four lane example, many of the, those lanes wouldn't be turning lanes. The far straight one would just go straight. That's true, I have to think about how to determine which lanes become turning lanes and so on. Basically now every lane is a turning lane in every direction, but of course that will become more realistic. All right, I'll give you two more minutes for questions. How big is your apartment? Uh, I think it's like 52 square meters, but I'm not completely sure again. How many traffic functions do you still have to work on before you are certified and it is sufficiently finished for you to move on to the next big thing? Um, I think intersections are actually it. Like if I get that working properly and in all cases, um, it doesn't matter if there are some small glitches, cars can merge properly. And I think, yeah. Just like some more polishing on the intersections and then I can work on the next big thing. So far your favorite thing about Russia. It sounds stupid, but I really like that shops are open really, really long. Like most of the supermarket or some of the supermarkets are even open 24 seven. Now for some of you who live in countries that are not Germany, you might be surprised that that's something special to me, but for me, it's actually something very special. Um, what else? I don't know, I guess that's my favorite thing. Sounds kind of stupid, right? Well, I guess something more abstract that I like about Russia is like the, the pragmatism of the people here and the willingness to make something work and help you. That's really great. Um, yeah, and I think on that note, I will end it today. And... Um, Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the new format and um, I hope to see you soon. I will let you know when the next live stream is and I will also let you know if I come up with some kind of regular schedule. Until then, I hope all of you have a good time. For last time, you can watch this infinite regression here and I will say goodbye for today and uh, yeah, see you.